top of Dungate Lane, is it? There's a couple of houses up there. No, oh, no, it's just starting to rain. I thought it looked like it was going to rain. Met officer wrong as usual. Met office said it wouldn't rain until four o'clock. Time by my watch is now 12.47 p.m. And it's starting to drizzle. Well, at least I've got some woodland to take cover in. And I'll carry on. And you see, really wooded part of the Fleam Dyke here. This is nice, very nice to walk through a bit of woodland like this. See all kinds of different types of trees, some wildlife. A huge great ditch down there. I mean, that really is a big ditch. I mean, it's big enough, like you could have a great big river down there, but I'm sure that's not, it wasn't, this wasn't dug for moving water, I don't think. Uh, oh, Wren just flew up, did you see that? One of the smallest birds in Britain, that was a Wren. W-R-E-N. It's gone in there somewhere. Thorns on everything to whack your legs. Got to be careful when you walk along here. Some type of little uh, crab apples or something. Loads of them. A few dead trees. Occasionally when you walk along here there's a huge one that's fallen over in the wind and eventually somebody comes along and chainsaws it up and gets it out of the way. And that tree's really leaning. Come around this way, I'll give you an idea. Look at that. That's an ash tree. That probably won't last too much longer. It can't have roots in the bank too much. What I'm standing on, it's not just soil, it's lots of this is chalk. There's a lot of chalk in the area. Chalk and flint that have built this out of. A dead tree, and that, look, that's got woodpecker nest holes in. That's definitely been used by a woodpecker. How much wood would a woodpecker peck if a woodpecker would peck wood? Dead pine tree that is. And I'll show you when I get to the next one. Beech trees. Normally, when, when I was little, I grew up, the leaves on beech trees would start to look brown like this in about October when they'd fall off at about the same time that the conkers look big, like golf ball size. Now there's this moth that's come to Britain something like can canker moth or something and it eats the leaves which kills them off and they look it looks like autumn and we're only just into August so um, it's a real shame oh, I can hear the, the rain's blowing on me now I need to find some shelter soon it's uh, a little bit stronger than drizzle now well done Met Office for getting it wrong yet again let's just see what that is over there Times just so I could zoom in and see what's been left out there. Farmers left some equipment over there. So a conveyor belt there to get the grain into these humongous great holding tanks. Grain silos which are massive.